Watch out, Nate. Nate, hey, watch out. Good morning, Nub Nation. I just uncovered my finger for the first time. Good morning from the Walmart parking lot, where I ended up sleeping four hours last night. Kind of a long story, but I had an allergy attack in Matt's house around 9 p.m. maybe. So I ended up sleeping out in the back of Conrad's truck. But to my dismay, I woke up at 4 a.m. on the weirdest slanted hill. The hill was slanted down into the side, and I must have parked my shoulder up, and I was trying to hold my body up from rolling rolling against the slant in my sleep and the middle of my upper back was so tight I was in excruciating pain. I woke up, I walked around, it wasn't going away, it felt so tight, the muscles were all just jacked up so I said F it I'm going to, to drive down to Walmart and get a coffee drove down here found a flat space and I actually ended up passing out in my front seat for about four hours so it's around 8 a.m. now and I just got this massage ball and I'm gonna try to massage out my back real quick before I head back but we have an exciting day planned hopefully I can get myself up to speed for it hope you guys are doing all right here we are another day on on this beautiful earth <laughs> You'd never believe it, but that just worked so well. Oh my God, this is awesome. We have assembled the entire crew. We are heading south about an hour. We're gonna link up with one of Matt's friends who has a 40 foot lobster boat. We're gonna go out on the boat, maybe try to find some waves offshore, maybe potentially surf a boat wake down some rocks. Sounds like a lot of cool stuff. I'm really hyped for it. This is right up my alley, so I'm really excited. Just trying to keep my calm, get there, and uh, just get psyched when we're out there. I can't wait, stoked. Hope you guys are stoked. What's going on? You tell me. Do you know where we're going? No. Do you want to? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> for, the, for the year so far, we'll be looking for a little bit of a change tomorrow. All right, guys, we're down here at the marina. We are loading up. I'm bringing four soft tops, one regular surfboard, and there's going to be a lot of heaviness going down on this lobster boat. There's all our stuff there. Hey. Hey. Yeah, Nate Dorn, what do you got to say? I've got a new. All right, nobody cares. No, yeah, you should bring a jacket. It'll get chilly. And later. water wings. And water wings if you fall in. And a tube. Like the one you can blow up. Conrad has a built in tube, so he's fine, but we need one for everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> of the nation with a couple of high pressure sex cells behind it. We just loaded onto the boat. Getting pretty surreal right now. Woo. This is sick, man. The dream is on. I'm feeling good. They're uh, they're gonna fill up the back of the boat like these tanks under here with water to weigh down the back, and uh, they're gonna drive along the side of a cliff or some type of ledge and create a uh, wave with the wake of the boat. It's pretty much like the ferry wave that I surf, but uh, we get to be in control of it instead of having to chase it. So I mean, as of right now, I've actually never been more stoked in my entire life. So <laughs> that's probably a good thing, right? <laughs>
Slater's wave pool. I don't know. We'll have to try it out. Guys, so we moved locations. We're now out on an island in the middle of nowhere, and it's not really running the same. It's sending waves in off of a point. He's gonna swing by, and I'm literally gonna try to paddle into one and ride it. And it'll be a boat wake, but at the same time, it's a fool just breaking wave. Pretty stoked. <laughs> Oh, wow. 